Hello everybody, it's Lena, and in today's video, we are building this modern mansion for a family in the world of Tartosa in The Sims 4, obviously. So we are building it on a 30 by 30 lot, which really is not a big one for a mansion. <laughs> and ideally, I really wanted at least a 40 by 30, but I just, I really couldn't find a 40 by 30 that I felt fit the vibes of what I was looking for, and I couldn't find one with good lighting, and that was angled right. So in the end, I just ended up using this lot, even though it was a little bit smaller than I would have wanted, but I made it work, and I do think that it's it's fine <laughs> so yeah that's how we ended up here and the reason why i wanted to build this modern mansion ish type of build today is because i realized it's been a while since i've done a big house for a family like this one i mean i've been doing quite a lot of big builds recently but they've all been like apartment buildings or lots with multiple houses on them so i haven't really done one that just has a single like house on the lot and it's just for for one family so i realized i wanted to do that now and i just felt like building something pretty modern and that is basically how we ended up with this build <laughs> so yeah there's that so it's it's like not really a, a mansion mansion it's not huge or anything like that but i do think it's a pretty damn big house so in my opinion it's a mansion but i feel like some people might disagree but that's okay we can all have our own little opinions that's fine <laughs> But yeah, this is a five bedroom and four bathroom house, so it does fit quite a lot of people, although I don't remember how many exactly it fits, so let's just go over that together. So on the first floor, we've got a bedroom, which is not like really personalized in any way. I was thinking that it's either for like some extended family members or a guest bedroom or something, but it sleeps two people, so that's two sims so far. And upstairs, we've got the parents' bedroom, also sleeps two sims that's four in total and there's a bedroom for one infant five sims and one for a child sim so that's six and then there's a teen bedroom which also fits like one sim so seven sims in total is how many you can fit into this home so yeah that's cool that's nice in my opinion <laughs> i like that and i just had a great time building it also this house has two living rooms which i personally think is very fancy and it just seems like a an, an indicator of wealth when a family or when a house has more than one living room like that's just so fancy you just know someone is rich when they have that and also when they have more than one staircase in the home i really really wanted to put more than one staircase in this house but i couldn't really make it work you know with the floor plan i couldn't make the floor plan make sense while i put like two staircases so i didn't want to like mess it all up but i do think it's very cool to have more than one staircase in your house like that's just a, a cool fancy thing in my opinion it just like shows how big your house is that it makes a sense to have an additional staircase instead of just one that's so cool <laughs> So I wanted that, but it just didn't really work out today. But yeah, anyway, <laughs> I had fun building this house and it was it was just a great time. And the inside is like pretty modern in my opinion. And it's also just kind of like, you know, family-esque and pretty cozy. And they do have like some family things. It's not like clinical modern. It's not that kind of vibe because I don't really love that. I tend to not really go for that clinical kind of vibe when I do my modern builds because it's just not really for me and I, I feel kind of uncomfortable when building it and when I like imagine myself living in that sort of thing. So I just don't really like to build it that often, but maybe I should challenge myself to, to try to do like a clinical kind of cold and very like, I, I don't know, that, that kind of modern home. <laughs> someday i don't know but yeah that's not what i did in this house and i just i think the interior is cozy i kind of have like a blue-ish theme going on in the house like some subtle little blue tones everywhere it's like yeah that's just the vibe in there <laughs> It's nice, and there's also a bar in the house, which again is just like an indicator of wealth to me. Like when a family house has a bar in it, that's so cool. It's so fancy. So these people are definitely rich, 
and that is great. And in the backyard, there's a pool, which is also really, really cool in my opinion. <laughs> I feel like for some parts of the world, having a pool is not really like super fancy if you live somewhere like warm. At least I've seen in a lot of like, you know, just suburban houses, people have a pools. So just your average upper middle class or just maybe middle class or something families do have pools which i think is very very cool but that's definitely not how it is in in my case because like here where i live it's super uncommon to have a pool and it's only like the the ultra rich who have them because it's just like you know a waste of money if you don't have a lot of money to to spend on a pool <laughs> yeah because it's cold most of the time i mean some people have indoor pools but that's just also extremely fancy and also for the super rich people yeah <laughs> I don't know. I think pools are very fancy and very cool. So these people needed to have one. And they're also going to get a fountain in the front of the house, which is also fairly cool to me because it's just like so pointless and it just shows everyone else that you have so much land and so much money that you can just spend it on a useless fountain, useless thing in the middle of your front yard. And that's just that. <laughs> That's cool, right? It's so fancy. However, since this lot is not super big, I did not have that much room to do a big backyard. So most of their yard space is definitely in the front. And I don't think that's super fancy. Like I, I imagine that rich people would like to have a private yard where they can just be by themselves without being looked at by their neighbors and people that are walking by. But these people don't have that, which, you know, is a symptom of this lot not being all that big and I just had to spend most of it on the, the front yard because that was just how it worked out with the way that I wanted the house to be so <laughs> there's that but they do have that little pool in the backyard and they do have some some stuff out there it's not tiny but it's not a major either yeah <laughs> that is basically that I don't know there's also a laundry room which is in this little annex sort of building and that's just that. They've got a ping pong table in there just because it fills up the room nicely and yay. <laughs> That's good, right? So I don't know if I really have anything else to say about this house. It's just a big house for a family and it's pretty modern and around seven sims can live here and you can of course download it on my gallery page. I always post all of my builds on there. So yeah, you can just download them them on my gallery page. My ID on there is Lazy Lena. It's spelled the exact same way as my YouTube channel name. So I think it should be pretty easy to find. Although I do know that the gallery is really, really weird and likes to mess up sometimes. So if you, for whatever reason, cannot find my builds by just searching out my username, you can also use the hashtag LazyLena because I use that one on all of my builds. But then you'll also see builds from like other people that have used the hashtag, but you will get my, my builds as well. So you can find my builds those two different ways if you are interested. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> By the way, I really appreciate it when people leave nice comments on the gallery, like either on my gallery page, like the, the main part of it, or on the builds and stuff like that. I tend to not really see them for quite a while because I don't get a notification of the comments, which is kind of annoying because six, eight-ish months ago or something, for some reason, EA decided to remove the notification wall on the gallery so I don't get notified of like anything at all anymore. So if you ask a question on there, I might not see it for a while, but when I do look at the comments on my gallery page and on some of the builds, I do get really, really happy when people write nice things. So I just wanted to say thank you all for doing that. It's so very kind of you. <laughs> yeah, I really, really appreciate that. And of course, I also love and appreciate getting comments on my YouTube channel and like on Instagram and stuff like that, because that's just so nice and so sweet of you guys when you say kind things to me. I really, really appreciate that, but I do get notified of those comments, so it's kind of different and I do always respond on my YouTube channel. I'm kind of bad at responding to comments on Instagram just because I feel like the comment like notification system is also a little bit like less easy to to manage than it is on YouTube. <laughs> so I'm not super good at that and I tend to just like go into my builds and respond to some of them in bulk when I see that there are quite a few because I get a little bit like I don't know overwhelmed sometimes not because I get like a, a ton of comments I don't know. <laughs> 
<laughs> it just makes me a little bit overwhelmed when I look at the, the notifications that I get on Instagram and also Instagram is scary so I tend to not really spend a lot of time on there but I do answer some comments when I when I see some some really sweet ones and I want to answer them and when people ask a question and stuff like that always answer that and I always respond to my, my YouTube comments unless the comments are super weird and I don't really feel the need to entertain that kind of behavior <laughs> that I'm not gonna respond but if it's nice or if it's like something that I actually feel the need to respond to I will do that so yeah anyway <laughs> There's just that, I guess. No, I don't know why I went out on a little tangent about that. I just wanted to say that I really appreciate all of your kindness and all of the love you guys show me. That's so very sweet of you. And I, I don't know, I'm just very, very grateful and appreciative of that. Also, I just want to mention that I really appreciate those of you who like watch my content regularly, but you don't comment or something like that, because that's how I am with a lot of people. Like I have so many YouTubers and other forms of content creators whose content I watch so often, like I watch all of their videos and whatnot, but I've never ever commented on it and I've never announced my presence in any way. So they have no idea that I specifically am watching because all they see is a number like on the, the view count and on the like count and whatnot. <laughs> they don't know who I am and I've like never ever commented on a lot of these people's videos but I've been watching them for years and I enjoy their content so much and I'm just not really a person who likes to comment all that much because well for one I'm like kind of shy <laughs> and it just makes me a little bit nervous to do that and also when I'm watching YouTube and whatnot I'm typically doing other things as well so I just like have the video on in the background while I work on building a house or I'm eating or whatever else that I'm doing like cooking or something I have a lot of stuff going on so I don't really have time to comment and whatnot so I'm just watching the video but like I, I don't know I'm just not really a person who comments very often like I have my this YouTube channel the lazy Lena and then I have a private account which I trend to use for watching like content that is not gaming related in any way and i just kind of <laughs> i don't know for some reason like to keep those two things separate like i have my non-gaming content things that i watch and then i have my sims primarily and also like some other games that i watch on this channel <laughs> and sometimes i comment with this channel the lazy elena youtube channel but that's mainly on content made by people that i've interacted with in the past or people that are friends of mine it's very rare that i comment on content made by people that i've never ever interacted with and that are complete strangers to me that's just i don't know not a not a thing that i do very often which is kind of like weird because as a creator myself i know how like important engagement is like engagement of any kind so likes dislikes comments and whatnot is really good for the creator because it shows youtube that people are enjoying the video or like taking time to engage with it and whatnot so that benefits the creator and of course i want to show my appreciation to creators of videos that i really enjoy but i mainly do that by pressing the like button and whatnot it's pretty rare that i do comment but yeah i don't know i just don't do it very often because i am shy <laughs> so i just want to say that i truly do understand it if you are that kind of person as well and i just wanted to say that i appreciate you and i'm very grateful that you are just here watching my my content i really do feel very honored and grateful that you are taking time out of your day to watch my videos even if this is like your first video of mine that you're watching or if you've watched many of them i really really appreciate you and i'm so thankful for you <laughs> yeah that is that i don't know why i'm feeling pretty sappy today so that's why i just wanted to you know show my my thankfulness my my appreciation to all of you so, yeah I don't know. <laughs> Enough about that though. I hope you guys are all doing good and I hope that life is treating you all well at the moment. Personally, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. I, I feel like life is not treating me very well at the moment, which is kind of sad and annoying and I'm not really doing my greatest, but it's okay. I'm just trying to like keep my head up high and not really focus on the good. Th or, well, <laughs> I was about to say not really focus on the good things. That's stupid. I'm trying to not focus on the bad things 
and then focus on on the good things obviously yeah that's what i want to do so i'm just trying to you know keep going and yeah it's fine it's okay it's gonna be okay but yeah as i did mention in my last video i did have a funeral that i was going to last week or a few days ago by now so that was very very sad and not a fun experience as funerals tend to be but then at the same time it was just like a, a good thing for me to be at and i'm glad that i went so yeah there's that but if you know <laughs> things are just kind of like going a little bit downhill at the moment it's okay though i will get through it and that's just like an important thing to keep in mind that if you guys are going through tough things at the moment too then it's it's gonna be okay and we will get through it you know it's gonna be fine <laughs> Yeah, I don't really have any other words of encouragement right now, I don't think. But it is currently Easter, so I hope you guys are having a good Easter right now if you do celebrate. And if you don't, then I hope you are having some some good regular days. Or if you're celebrating something else, then have fun doing that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not really celebrating Easter right now because I feel like it's a very family-based tradition. Or not tradition, but like holiday. And in my family, we don't really have any specific traditions that we necessarily do around Easter. We just kind of like spend time together and give each other like a little easter egg with chocolate or another kind of candy or something like that and then we eat a lot of good food and just have fun that's really all we don't really do anything super crazy or interesting or anything that's like set in stone a, a like deep tradition or anything like that so it's not really a holiday that means the world to me but this year i'm all alone <laughs> because my family's not here and I'm just spending these days by myself in the house with just me and, and Minnie, my dog, she's here too, so that's good. I do have her, <laughs> but it's just a little bit sad because normally I'm with my family on Easter and I just really like to be with them and I like to spend time with them. And I mean, I could have done that because my, my family, my parents are currently at my grandparents' house. They live far away, but I chose not to go because as I did mention, I'm not really feeling super well at the moment my mental health is kind of like in the gutters right now and i just could not really <laughs> find the energy to go far away to to be there for a few days i did not have the energy for that i just i couldn't do that <laughs> and also we did go see them just a few days ago because we were staying at my grandparents house when we were at the funeral and we just got back from that what like three day four days ago something like that so i literally just saw them but like this easter thing had been planned for a few months and the funeral thing had not <laughs> obviously but yeah I, I just saw them and now i feel like i'm just super overwhelmed by a lot of the stuff that's going on in my life and i just i couldn't really handle going away for a few days again because i'm also gonna be going on a little super low-key vacation in a few days with my parents when they get home again so i just i felt like i did not have the energy to also go away for these few days that would just be too much for me but yeah i'm really excited to go on this vacation that's gonna be nice i'm gonna be gone for a week and i think it's gonna be really good for me to just like get out of this physical place because i've just been sad here for a while so i need to just get out for a little bit so i do think that will be good and this is just like a place that i've been to many a times in my life i don't really know exactly how many times but quite a lot of times it's a place not too far from here and it is somewhere that i'm pretty familiar with so yeah i am looking forward to that quite a lot that's gonna be nice <laughs> and i'm just gonna be spending time with my family and yeah that's that's basically all so i don't really have anything else to to tell you about i suppose so i think for the remainder of this video i just want to tell you guys a story about something that a person in my family did one time it's not like in any way related to what we were talking about it's completely off topic but it's just a story that i think about often so i want to tell it today i guess but yeah so in my country it's very easy to legally change your name if i'm not mistaken all you gotta do is go on to a government website log in with your id then request the name that you want to change your name to then pay the small fee of the equivalent of 85 us dollars and then you just wait like a couple maybe a few weeks for them to approve it or deny it so if after x amount of weeks they then approve your name 
then bam, congratulations, you're now the proud owner of a brand new name. <laughs> Very cool. However, they can of course choose to deny the name. And I think like just based on what I've heard, they, they can't deny it if it's not like an actual name. Like if you request to change your name to Spoon or diaper or something you're gonna get denied because those are not names of humans those are the names of things of objects so you can't have that name okay that's not how that works apparently <laughs> also i'm fairly certain that the name you request it does have to align with your legal sex so i for example would not be able to change my name to peter because i'm legally female and that's a, a male name so that would get denied i'm fairly certain and if a guy like a person who's legally male tried to change his name to helena or something that would also get denied because that's a female name and also it's my name so don't try to take my name i don't like that i don't like it when people steal from me don't take my name okay but i do believe that if the name you request is an actual name for humans and if it aligns with your legal sex it's probably gonna get approved and a few years ago my brother he was pretty drunk one night and then he got the brilliant idea to legally change his name. So he went on to, you know, that website and requested this name and paid the money. And then a few weeks later, it was approved. And I don't really want to disclose his former name nor his new name because, you know, privacy is cool and fun and whatnot. <laughs> so I'm not going to do that. But basically, all you got to know is that this name he requested is a name that I'm pretty sure basically no one under the age of like 80 has except for my brother of course because it got approved <laughs> and now he's running around with this name that's very uncommon for young people and when i say young people i mean anyone under the age of like 70 75 <laughs> has to have so my brother a 23 year old guy has his name and whenever he tells people about it i feel like they you know take a second to like process it and like ask a second time or something it depends on this person's boldness like if they actually have the courage to ask if that's actually his name or not but i do feel like i've seen people flinch and you know question it for a second and when i tell people about it they are like why on earth would he change his name to this it's like so ugly and so old and so weird and like who, who is named that at age 23 it's so weird and i don't know <laughs> so yeah that was just the thing that he did one night when he was drunk However, the kicker is that my brother did not really tell anybody besides the friends that he was with on this night that he did it. And then like a few months or something after, my mom had to send him some money. So on the app on her phone that she was going to do it on, she saw this new name and she was so confused because she was trying to send it to my brother. And then she thought that that was like some other person with our last name, but just a new a new first name and she was just so taken aback by it because it was like such a weird name and she got so confused but that yeah turns out that was that was my brother and he had changed his name and he just did not tell anybody at all and i kind of feel like he is a little bit like ashamed of it because it's a weird name and he just changed it while he was really drunk and whatnot but yeah then when we asked him about it he swore up and down that this was something he had been contemplating for months and he had been wanting to have this specific name for a very very long time and it was not like a spur of the moment decision and he did not regret it at all you know <laughs> however like a few months later when my mom was talking to his girlfriend's mom like when they were meeting for the first time my brother had apparently told this story to like his girlfriend's parents but yeah the mom told us the thing about him being like very drunk that night and doing it while he was drunk and it was just like a joke that he did <laughs> and like we knew that we knew it was not like a serious thing and we knew he did, had not done it like while he was fully sober or anything like that but he had just like been swearing up and down that he, he had done this when he was in you know a, a clear state of mind and it was just so funny <laughs> because that was not true at all but yeah anyway basically now like i think either two or three years later that's still his name so yeah good for him i guess <laughs> It's just kind of stupid. Although I should mention that he just made this new name his first name and then he made his old name his middle name. So it's still his name, 
but he just has a new first name, I guess. <laughs> and we, we did like get a little bit confused about it because nowadays people, like most of his friends and new people that he meets, they do call him by his new name. So it's like a thing that's gonna stick, I'm pretty sure. And I do think that he has gotten used to it and all that stuff, so that's really great. But we, like his family members, were a little bit unsure about it because we didn't really know what to call him. Like we've known him as his old name his entire life and we were like a little bit unsure if it was like a thing he just really wanted to get away from because of course we would like deeply really respect it if he just really desired a new name but it was just like a joke so we have talked about it with him and he says that it's okay we call him by his old name because you know it is still his middle name and it's it's like fine for him so yeah I, my parents still call him by his old name and i call him by the nickname that i've called him my entire life which is like a shortened version of his old name and i have like asked him a few times also recently and whatnot if that's still okay with him and it is so yeah i don't plan on ever changing the name that i call him but also i never call him by his actual former name <laughs> anyway yeah that's just that it's just a funny little weird story maybe i don't know have any of you guys ever changed your legal name and is it a difficult process in your country or is it super easy and no big deal or what is it like i'm very curious to know if if you guys have any experience with that especially like with like first names because i feel like changing your last name is pretty common because a lot of people do that when they get married but changing your first name is a little bit more uncommon probably although it's super easy here so i feel like a lot of people do do it <laughs> It's just so cheap and like so convenient and it's it's not a struggle. So yeah, a lot of people do change it. Some people do it as a joke when they are drunk. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway though, this video is about to come to an end, so I just want to say thank you all so so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please do give it a little thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't subscribed already and you, you want to do them. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. And also you can leave a comment if you are interested in doing that as we were talking about earlier. But yeah, besides all of that, I hope you're having an amazing, amazing day and then I cannot wait to see you all in my next video that I will be posting in just a few days so bye everybody